I will start my broadcast of my analysis on the war movie, The Wind That Shakes the Barley, from 2006, directed by Ken Loach, by giving a little summary of the story. It starts with showing some lads playing on a green field. Then the lads are, are walking home to one of them. When the military comes, they wa they want to talk with them because they ha because it is illegal in this in the time to uh, be together as a as a union. When the military is there, um, one of the guys are uh, killed is killed by the military because he is refusing to tell his name and his inf informations. The movie is dealing with the time from 1920 to after the election where Ireland was split in two and the reactions on the treaty. The movie is showing the time from one of the IRA group's point of view. In this group, especially two of the men are central for the story, Damien and Teddy O'Donovan. They are brothers. But after the election and the treaty, Shady chose to work for the Free Status as a high graded military man, while the other brother Damien stays in the group to fight further for the case they started to fight for together. In one of the last scenes of the movie, Ted is ordering the shooting of his brother after his brother was arrested. Costumes in the movie are very char characteristic of the time, we do, uh, the, um, and the time is the beginning of the 20th century. Now I will talk about the framing and the focus in one of the scenes. In, the, in this shot of the scene, you are looking at a close-up shot, um, you are you're looking at some big rocks, in the in the back, two young lads, some green grass, and a man in the front. The man in the front is standing with a wheel gun, while the two guys in the back sitting with that tree gun, the guns made by tree, which shows that the man in the front is in power. Uh, another um, thing to show that he's in power is his sliding clothes. The way um, the way he he's standing is also showing his power. He's bending over something on the ground with a with a gun in the in the right hand and his left hand raised. That shows power. Now I will talk about the lightning and the colors in this in the same scene. The person in the front is a lit object. Which for example can see on his lighted clothes. There are used light colors in his clothes, but the two background actors are wearing dark color clothes. The scene is uh, the scene's light is harsh because they're using a cloudy weather. Um, the scene is not lighted up by any sun or any clear blue sky. This scene, uh, the green color is the, is the predominant color, which you can see on the man in the front coat. The green pants carried by one of the lads in the back. The green grass, uh, the man in the front hat, and the other and one of uh, one of the lads green hat. The scene is dark. Which in this example shows the seriousness by training to be an IRA soldier in the dark is therefore used to make a feeling of wartime. A feeling of wartime is indeed not a pleasant feeling. Now I'll talk about the movie's soundtrack. The use of music in this movie is chosen well. 
that is used are is folk music. An example of that is the song that the whole movie is built on. The Wind That Shakes the Body by Dorina McKinnon. The songs in the movie make a feeling of joy, but also a feeling of sadness. I will talk a little bit about how the song The Wind That Shakes the Body plays a role in the movie. Every little stanza of the song plays an important role. For example, the stanza, I sat within a valley green, I sat there with my true love, my heart strove to choose between the old love and the new love, the old for her, uh, the new that made me think on the island dearly, while soft the wind blew down the glade and shook the golden barley. In this stanza, the song tells about the true love of the writer. Love can be analyzed as a symbolism of the love to a country. When there is written the old love and the new love, the old for her, the new that made me think of Ireland dearly. That here it here it is, uh, here it is obvious obvious that simple certainly is the love for a country, because they're mentioning Ireland in a, in a contrast to law to love. There is also used other sound effects in the mu- in the movie aside from the music and the dialogue. For example, if the scene from forty one eleven to forty five o five, when the soundtrack gives a feeling of sadness and freedom in one, they escape to the prison, but Teddy's fingernails are torn off his fingers, and he is in a bad shape. That was my analysis on the war movie The Wind That Shakes the Barley from 2006, directed by Ken Loach. My name is Thomas Craig Hyphen Sandler.